I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, hola, light speed <laughs> Spanish. To say hola. <laughs> light speed Spanish. This is podcast number 37 Seven. for early intermediate. And today we're talking about an absolutely fantastic subject, which is the uses of haber. Okay. Massive subject. We've never really um, fully talked about the whole of Abed, okay? So today's the day. Today. Entonces, Cindia, si no te importa, no vamos a hablar mucho en español porque es. That's eh, fine. ¿vale? That's no problem. Pero puedes contestarme en español. Está bien, no hay problema. Venga. <laughs> okay, right. Abed, right. Let's start at the beginning. Abed is the verb to have done something, okay? Now, haber is what's called an auxiliary verb, which just means, by any other name, a helper verb. And how would you describe it? What's the word in Spanish for auxiliary? Un verbo auxiliar. Auxiliar, vale. So, okay. So, haber, let's talk about haber in terms of two families. We have the family as an auxiliary verb. That means it always goes with what's called the past participle. The past participle. Yeah? And then we've got the other family of Abed where it's a standalone third person singular verb, which means in the present, there is, there are. And there is another family. My goodness. What's the other family? Which means should. If I say, for example... Uh, Abed me lo dicho. Yes. Or if I, if Con says, I'm hungry, and I could say, haber comido, you should have eaten. Okay, let's put that one over there, Aww. all right, because <laughs> I believe that what that is, is a partial sentence, which is very common in Spanish. Deberías. Where, uh -huh. where people, instead of saying the whole one, the short yes. it, yeah? This, it, okay. Missing deberías. Yeah, but it's still haber comido, que. so it's still the, 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 Vos, the auxiliary. Vos, worth mentioning, because Absolutely. sometimes we just say haber ido, haber comido, haber. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's nice. look. So let's talk about the first family, which is with the, the auxiliary verb with the past participle. Right, please, before you watch this, if, you, if you're not sure what on earth we're talking about when we talk about auxiliary verbs or whatever, go and have a look in our earlier podcasts, okay? Check that out first so you know what, what you're dealing with because we're going to go beyond the present perfect, okay? So, tenemos, Cindia, we have. A ver. Haber, which breaks down in present, yes. e, as, a, hemos, habéis, an, okay? But then, what, what lots of people don't understand is that for every tense that exists in, let's say, in normal, the normal um, breakdown of verbs, the equivalent tense exists for haber, yeah? Haber works exactly like a normal verb. Yes. Yeah? So... All that happens is that when you break down haber, it's like, imagine you've got comer, and you've got present tense, um, you've got in preterite tense, imperfect tense, subjunctive tense, conditional, future. Everything is reflected with haber. Okay? Uh -huh. okay. So that's what we're going to run through now, so you can see how it's used. Wow. Okay, I love to run through. Mm. <laughs> okay, so... The equivalent tense of the present, all right, as in, we'll use comer. Como, with the present perfect, is I have eaten. He comido. He comido, okay. But then we've got, um, for example, comería. I would eat, uh -huh. okay. So how does that work? With so you want to make the conditional with the verb to have. Mm -hmm. So that would be habría. Comido. Okay, so comería is I would eat, habría comido is I would have eaten. Yes. Yeah? And what you'll see with haber is that eaten never changes. It's every no, single conjugation has eaten. In yes. It. Every time you have a verb with the verb haber, meaning to have done something, to have eaten, to have, that verb, the second verb, is always going to be past participle, regardless of the tense of the verb haber. So it's always going to be comido, bebido, visto, puesto, la 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 la. Never changes. And these changes. 
Mm-hmm. Habría V. Okay, we'll come, we'll come to all of them. Okay. Don't jump the gun, girl. No, I'm just saying that examples, and then this doesn't change. Yeah. Okay. Super. So we've got co- como, and That's the equivalent really is he mm-hmm. comido, right? Then we've got comería, and the equivalent is habría comido. Habría I comido. would have eaten. Okay. Then we've got comeré. I will eat, and that becomes habré comido. Habré comido. I, I will, will have eaten. Okay. Exacto. So then we've got this one, comí, preterit. And what's the equivalent of, of preterit in the haber? Ube comido. Right. Do you use that? Yes. Can you give us an example of when you would use it? It's um, not used very much, cuando, is it? Um, él comió y cuando hubo comido, se fue. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why would you choose hubo comido against había comido? We're going to come, well, let, let's just talk about the... We've, done, we've talked about this before, the había hubo mm-hmm. debate. Obviously, había is more popular than hubo, but we do use hubo in some sentences. Okay, what would be the... Can we, before we do that, let's just talk about había, okay? So, hubo comido is, for example, he had eaten, okay? And había comido is he had eaten. So, in English, it's had eaten, all right? Obviously, we've got the preterite imperfect. So, the preterite is all measurable, one-off the, me- events. If I said that había y cuando había comido, that would have mean and when he had been eating, as opposed to when he had eaten. In that context, for example, with the cuando, y cuando hubo terminado, y cuando hubo hecho eso, y cuando hubo, with the cuando, has to be with So is hubo. that, the, that the, 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 the kind of the trigger when you're using the cuando? Not always, but it's a trigger. Mm-hmm. But not always. You can also say cuando había. Okay. But the difference between cuando hubo comido and cuando había comido. Y cuando había comido, se fue. I would say hubo in that, in that sentence. Right. Yeah. Again, would I, would I say that in spoken conversation? No. I would say y cuando comió. Y después de comer, se Ajá. fue. O cuando comió, yeah. se fue. Okay. That's what I would say mm-hmm. in spoken conversation. So typically, well, I mean, this is, the, I, I'm just going to talk about what I hear, okay? You know, Cynthia says that that's not something you should ever pay attention to, what I hear. Okay. Okay, but what I hear is that I, I can't think of the last time that I heard somebody use hubo comido. I, I can't, I, I, it would have stood out No, to me. because you base your approach in conversation. Yes. In conversation, we don't use it that much. Right. Or very rarely use it unless you're watching news or anything that is not really conversation. Right. Um, language. So it's I more think formal language. This is really then. important. This is really important that what's it, what Cynthia's just said that in conversation it isn't a tense that is used. And it, that structure is not used. No. Massively. However, that doesn't mean that you don't have to know it. No, no, I'm not, I'm you, not saying that. Because you will find it in other means of. But what, of, uh, what I find is that a lot of people try to use that in conversation a lot. Mm, and, no. And, and what I'm saying not. is that, look, I would probably steer away from that in conversation. Yes. In okay? conversation, yes. Be aware of it. Understand what, you, what it's about, but steer away from it. Okay. Brilliant. So we've got the had eaten. Había comido. Yeah? Había hubo comido. Uh-huh. Hubo comido. Okay. Right. Great. And then we've got the... Um, I, for example, I hope that he has eaten. Okay, so I hope that is a trigger so of the subjunctive. So you want subjunctive, the present subjunctive yeah. of the verb haber. Mm-hmm. So that's haya. So espero que haya comido. All right. So just as um, espero que coma, I hope he eats, coma, the equivalent with the haber is haya. Exactly. Yeah, haya comido. And then, I hoped that he had eaten. Esperaba que hubiera o hubiese comido. Okay, so you've got the imperfect subjunctive 
and in the present the quote would be comiera. Okay? Time shop, Gordon. Yeah. Okay. Very quickly. So what we're saying is this every single tense, tense in a normal verb has the equivalent with haber and all that you're listening for yeah. is this word have with the um, past participle spoken, taught, had, okay? So yeah. there's going to be a lot more information in the help sheets, okay? We're, we're, we're just scratching the surface of this of this subject but um, we'll do lots of exercises for you to practice, okay? Pues muy bien. Good idea. Muy bien. Vale, sí. nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós. Adiós.